Today we're going to talk about some basic shooting fundamentals. First thing when shooting you want to think about is your position. When, with your position is, is your stance. You either have your isosceles stance like this or you're taking your weaver stance like such. From there you want to talk about aiming. Aiming is broken down to two parts. You have sight alignment and picture alignment. With sight alignment you're going to line up your sights. You have your rear sights and your front sights. Your rear sights have, have two posts spread apart and your front sight is a single post. What you want to do is you're going to look down the gun and you're going to line up the rear sights with the front sights so you see the front sight post lined up in the middle of the two rear sights. And you're going to make sure they're even and level with even space on either side of them. So when you bring the gun up to your target, they look like one straight line across which is going to take you into picture alignment. You want to underline your target with the line that your sights created and you want to focus on your front sight. This is very important. Your rear sight and your target are going to be blurry in your vision and all of your focus is going to be concentrated on your front sight. So when you aim, the front sight comes into view, you aligned your picture. The next thing from there we're going to talk about is your breathing control. Breathing is very important when you're shooting. Um, as, you, as you line up your sight, right before you pull the trigger, you want to take a, a nice breath, exhale just a little bit, and then stop. When you stop breathing just a moment, you fire your shot, and then you continue your breathing. The longer you hold the breath, the more tremors you're going to have, it, and your hands will shake, and your aiming will be off. The next thing we're going to talk about is trigger control. Trigger control is very important. Uh, where you place your finger on the trigger will definitely affect your shot. You want to touch the trigger halfway between the tip of your finger and the first line. So right in the middle, you're going to put that part on the trigger. If your finger is too far one way or the other, you're going to shoot left or right. So you want to be right in the middle and have a good firm grip on the gun. If you hold the gun loosely, your shot will be off or your gun could actually jam. So you want to get a nice firm grip, line up your finger on the trigger, and squeeze your trigger. Another thing to remember with trigger pull is you want to, once you're lined up with your finger on the trigger, you want to pull the trigger nice and smooth and steady. You don't want to anticipate the shot. You want to create a surprise break so your, your body is not anticipating the shot. When you anticipate, you're going to tense up, you're going to push forward, causing your shots to go low. From there, we want to talk about follow through. With follow through, you want to make sure to do every one of these fundamentals every time, step by step, for every shot, ensuring the most accurate shots possible. And those are the five basic fundamentals of accurate shooting.